Hello, and welcome to the Get Lean and Eat Clean podcast. My name is Brian Grin. I'm a certified health coach, trainer, and author. And this podcast is for middle-aged men and women looking to optimize their health and get their bodies back to what it once was 10 to 15 years ago. I will give you simple, actionable items to get long-term sustainable results. Thanks for listening and enjoy the show. All right. Welcome to the Get Lean, Eat Clean podcast. My name is Brian Grin. Hopefully you had a great weekend with family and friends and hopefully also a time to listen to my interview with Dalton from Analyze and Optimize. This is the second time I had him on the podcast and we touched on all about the bio, bioenergetic viewpoint of metabolic health, is sugar to blame for obesity, the problem with restrictive dieting, Dalton's metabolic boosting foods, and much, much more. So really enjoyed my interview with, with Dalton, and he definitely thinks outside the box. So if you haven't already, check out episode 296. Now, on today's micro podcast, uh, we're going to get a little bit into gut health. Uh, last week, we touched on the, the cortisol to DHEA ratio. So if you haven't listened to that, I definitely highly recommend that one because it's an important ratio, ratio that we should all know and all get tested. Now, today we're going to touch on <clears throat> what's called the intestinal mucosal barrier and specifically with, digest, with the digestive tract. But you do have your, your mucosal barrier actually um, is a, this large membrane that protects the internal environment from the external environment. And it lines the digestive, respiratory, and the re reproductive tract, as well as the eyes. So you sort of have this outer layer of protection. Now, we're going to focus a little bit on the digestive tract. And this is a continuous tube that runs from your mouth all the way down to your anus. It contains a section called the small intestine, which we all know, right? This is where the majority of nutrient breakdown and absorption occurs. Um, so this segment also houses a large percentage of the immune system and protects the body from what's called antigens, which are toxins and foreign substances and unfriendly microorganisms. A healthy function small intestine is essential to overall health. Now, if you don't know already, but 80% of the immune system is in the gut. And so obviously a topic like this, which we're just going to touch on today is really important to understand and to sort of optimize if you really want to make sure that you're functioning at 100%. Now, <clears throat> the intestinal mucosal barrier serves two main functions. One, it's the foundation of our gut immune system. So it's a physical barrier. It's like a second skin, and it protects the bloodstream from bad bacteria, toxins, parasites, um, you know, all the things that we're eating and drinking. And there's also a chemical barrier, something called secretory IgA. It's our primary immune globulin secreted from the mucosal surface. It sort of identifies the friendly things from the non-friendly non things. And so Sig A is, is another sort of protective um, from the outside, the chemical barrier. Um, so it's a physical and a chemical barrier. This is our gut immune system. And then this, the second... Um, big task of it is to absorb nutrients, right? When any, any, we, anytime we digest foods, right, we want to make sure that we're actually absorbing what we're eating. Um, and so the intestine is sort of this long tube with embedded folds um, to increase surface area for nutrient absorption. You have the villi, the microvilli, not going to go into depth onto all of that, but really uh, two main functions, right? Absorb nutrients and and is the foundation of our gut immune system and sort of the protection. So that's what the intestinal mucosal barrier does. Those are the two main functions. Now, how can we ruin our, our, um, our nutrient absorption or potentially damage, damage this area of the body? Well, <clears throat> you know, you've heard of something called leaky gut, right? And this is where there's sort of this atrophy this villus atrophy and essentially um, this the, what comes of what's called a hyper hyper permeability of the gut. Now, what could cause this? I mean, this could be anything from what we're eating to having low stomach acid and enzymes, antibiotics, infections. You could have blood sugar issues. Um, stress is a big one. 
um, toxins, food allergies, food intolerances. These are all things that could create what's called metabolic chaos, stress, chemical injury, and infections um, that could damage the microvilli and the intestinal mucosal cells. And so essentially, <clears throat> we're being exto- exposed to this stuff, whether we like it or not, right? The air you breathe. Um, so some of it's impossible to avoid. And so I think the key is, is building up a strong, a strong gut, a strong immune system. And I'm just going to give you some high level things that you could potentially do. And, you know, these are things that obviously are more lifestyle related. Something like eliminating gluten might be a, might be a big one for a lot of people. Some people are sensitive to it, but gluten and potentially dairy are both, both could be pro-inflammatory. Now, I don't really digest gluten at all, but dairy I have from time to time and does does no harm, feels like it doesn't affect me at all. Um, you should you could tor- normally tell if if gluten and dairy are are playing at all. But if you're having health issues and you're and you're trying to figure out like, well, you know, what is going on, maybe bloating, gas, things like that, perhaps cutting out gluten and dairy would be a next step. Um, you want to focus on eating healthy fats. That's a big one we already talked about. Olive oil, maybe even some coconut oil. These are all protective. Um, and you know, saturated fats, I wouldn't try to uh, totally avoid those as well. You know, those you can get from um mainly animal foods. Okay. Uh, you know, you hear about uh filling up with what's called prebiotic foods. That can help strengthen the gut. Um, this could be anything from like apples, asparagus, bananas, cocoa, uh, garlic, even honey or artichokes. Um, Also too, this is a big one as far as just like overall general health, but eating in, um, obviously not eating box dinners and, 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 and making sure that you're avoiding all those processed foods. But like, you know, knowing what you're cooking in is so important. So eating in is such a huge principle of health. Um, you know, focus on focus on eating. You know, meats, healthy protein, adequate protein intake for each meal, um, and then just you know when you're shopping, shop the perimeter because most of the perimeter is the unprocessed foods, right? And um, I think that's obviously really important if you're if you're eating foods with with ingredients that you can't pronounce. Um, it's not going to take a, It's going to it could take a toll on gut health. And so you really want to make sure that if you're eating foods with labels that, you know, you're maybe, maybe make a rule six or less ingredients and all those ingredients, hopefully you can pronounce. So that's sort of the high level I wanted to touch on today. I think it's important to realize that, you know, gut, gut, it takes, it plays a huge role in overall health. And if it's something that you feel like you're getting a lot of gas or bloating or fatigue, you know, these could be all, these could all be tied to some intestinal damage that was done over years and years of being exposed to environmental factors and potentially <clears throat> things that you had to do, you know, down the line, perhaps antibiotics and things like that. So uh, that's all I wanted to touch on today. Um, let's make sure we clean up our gut. And if you want to sort of take it to the next level, if you're really unsure, it's interesting because um, you can take you can take something called like a GI map, which is a, you know, sort of goes through and and cycles through all the things that could be affecting your gut um, and make sure that you are crossing all your T's and dotting all your I's. Um, And this is something that I've been learning through FDN. So it's called a GI map. Um, So if this is something that you want to learn a little bit more of, let me know. Um, I took one myself and definitely some interesting uh, results from that. Uh, perhaps one day we'll go through that, but that, I thought that would be a little bit too much detail to go through. I just want to sort of give you some high level things and, um, and let you take it from there. So I appreciate you listening to the podcast. Hopefully you're enjoying these micro podcasts. Um, if you love it, leave a review. Would we'll, we'll love a five-star review. Get this people out to get this podcast out to more people and uh, yeah, have a great rest of the week. I will talk to you on Friday with another great interview. Thanks for listening to the Get Lean, Eat Clean podcast. I understand there are millions of other podcasts out there and you've chosen to listen to mine, and I appreciate that. Check out the show notes at briangrin.com for everything that was mentioned in this episode. 
feel free to subscribe to the podcast and share it with a friend or family member that's looking to get their body back to what it once was. Thanks again and have a great day.